Hello, welcome to another video where today it's the early spring, which means spring greens like this are in season because, well, when else would they be? I mean, it is quite literally in the name. And speaking of names, you might not recognize plants like these, but you'll probably recognize their relatives. For example, this one is very closely related to watercress. Good for soups, good for salads, quite plentiful. I should definitely do a video on this plant at some point. But before you go running off into the woodlands to make a salad like a totally normal person does, a word of caution. Before you cook with any wild edible, you're going to want to give each individual plant a taste. Because wild edible plants, especially leafy greens in my experience, are wildly variable in how they taste. To illustrate this, I'll be using a fairly extreme example. This is garlic mustard, and in my experience it either tastes quite good or absolutely terrible, and there's no in-between. For example, let's take a leaf from this plant right here. If I take the leaf and taste it, it tastes good. Garlicky, subtle, but garlicky, mild. And then afterwards you get a little bit of bitterness. The garlicky note fades, and then it's like a bitter green. Fairly bitter, but that's to be expected with wild edibles like this, and if you're using it in a salad, that may even be a preferred trait. A lot of people do like bitter greens. And then there's this little plant, about half a meter from the other one. Let's give one of its leaves a try. Same species, let's give it a try. No garlic. It's already worse in terms of bitterness than the first one ever was. Nice. This thing has no unique flavor whatsoever. No hint of garlic, subtle or otherwise. In fact, it very much tastes like arugula that was doused in diet tonic water. The first one would make a very good salad. Honestly, one I might enjoy eating, and I'm not the biggest fan of those things. The second one would make you wonder whether you accidentally used dish soap instead of olive oil in the dressing. So while it's always a good idea to taste your ingredients before cooking with them, no matter what ingredients you're dealing with, it's especially important when it comes to wild edibles. Anyway, that's all for today. As always, I hope you learned something, and I wish you the best. Till next time.